Polites, Wikipedia article audio. Polites German, is a physical fitness system developed in the early 20th century by Joseph Polites, after whom it was named. Polites called his method contractology. It is practiced worldwide, and especially in Western countries such as Canada, the United States and the United Kingdom. As of 2005, there were 11 million people practicing the discipline regularly and 14,000 instructors in the United States. Brief Description There is only limited evidence to support the use of Pilates to alleviate low back pain, or improve balance in elderly people. Evidence from studies show that while Pilates improves balance, Limited data exists on whether this impacts on falls by the elderly. Pilates has not been shown to be an effective treatment for any medical condition. There is some evidence regular Pilates sessions can help muscle conditioning in healthy adults, when compared to doing no exercise. In his book Return to Life Through Contractology, Joseph Pilates presents his method as the art of controlled movements which should look and feel like a workout when properly manifested. If practiced with consistency, Pilates improves flexibility, builds strength, and develops control and endurance in the entire body. It puts emphasis on alignment, breathing, developing a strong core, and improving coordination and balance. The core, consisting of the muscles of the abdomen, low back, and hips, is often called the powerhouse and is thought to be the key to a person's stability. Pilates system allows for different exercises to be modified in range of difficulty from beginner to advanced or to any other level, and also in terms of the instructor and practitioner's specific goals and slash or limitations. Intensity can be increased over time as the body adapts itself to the exercises. History Pilates was developed by Joseph Pilates, from Mönchengladbach, Germany. His father was a gymnast and his mother a naturopath. Principles During the first half of the 20th century, he developed a system of exercises which were intended to strengthen the human mind and body. Pilates believed that mental and physical health were interrelated. Breathing In his youth he had practiced many of the physical training regimes available in Germany, and it was from these he developed his own method. It has clear connections with the physical culture of the late 19th century, such as the use of special apparatuses and claims that the exercises could cure ill health. It is also related to the tradition of corrective exercise or medical gymnastics as typified by Peter Henrik Ling. Concentration Pilates said that the inspiration for his method came to him during World War I, while he was being held in an internment camp on the Isle of Man. He developed his method there for four years, working on his fellow internees. Control Joseph Pilates accompanied his method with a variety of equipment, for which he used the term apparatus. Each apparatus was designed to help accelerate the process of stretching, strengthening, body alignment and increased core strength started by the mat work. The best known and most popular apparatus today, the reformer, was originally called the universal reformer aptly named for universally reforming the body. Eventually Pilates designed other apparatus, including the Cadillac, Wounda chair, high electric chair, spine corrector, ladder barrel, and petty pole. Pilates published two books related to his training method, Your Health, a corrective system of exercising that revolutionizes the entire field of physical education in 1934, and returned to life through contractology in 1945. Centering 
flow. Postural alignment. Precision. His first students went on to teach his methods, including Romana Krizanowska, Kathy Grant, Jay Grimes, Ron Fletcher, Maha Wolman, Mary Bowen, Carol Atrier, Bob Seed, Eve Gentry, Bruce King, Lolita San Miguel, and Mary Polites, Joseph Sneese. Contemporary Polites includes both the modern Polites and the classical slash traditional Polites. Modern Polites is partly derived from the teaching of some first generation students, while classical Polites aims to preserve the original work as Joseph Polites taught it. A number of versions of Polites are taught today and the majority are based on up to nine principles. Frank Philip Friedman and Gail Eisen, two students of Romana Krizanowska, published the first modern book on Polites, The Polites Method of Physical and Mental Conditioning, in 1980 and in it they outline six principles of Polites. These have been widely adopted and adapted by the wider community. The original six principles were concentration, control, center, flow, precision, and breathing. Breathing is important in the Polites method. In Return to Life, Polites devotes a section of his introduction specifically to breathing bodily house cleaning with blood circulation. He saw considerable value in increasing the intake of oxygen and the circulation of this oxygenated blood to every part of the body. This he saw as cleansing and invigorating. Proper full inhalation and complete exhalation were key to this. He advised people to squeeze out the lungs as they would wring a wet towel dry. In Pilates exercises, the practitioner breathes out with the effort and in on the return. In order to keep the lower abdominals close to the spine, the breathing needs to be directed laterally, into the lower rib cage. Pilates breathing is described as a posterior lateral breathing, meaning that the practitioner is instructed to breathe deep into the back and sides of his or her rib cage. When practitioners exhale, they are instructed to note the engagement of their deep abdominal and pelvic floor muscles and maintain this engagement as they inhale. Pilates attempts to properly coordinate this breathing practice with movement. Pilates demands intense focus. The way that exercises are done is more important than the exercises themselves. Contractology was Joseph Pilates' preferred name for his method, and it was based on the idea of muscle control. All exercises are done with control, the muscles working to lift against gravity and the resistance of the springs and thereby control the movement of the body and the apparatus. For practitioners to control their bodies, they must have a starting place, the center. The center is the focal point of the Polites method. Many Polites teachers refer to the group of muscles in the center of the body encompassing the abdomen, lower and upper back, hips, buttocks, and inner thighs as the powerhouse. All movement in Polites should begin from the center and move outward to the limbs. Polites aims for elegant economy of movement, creating flow through the use of appropriate transitions. Once precision has been achieved, the exercises are intended to flow within and into each other in order to build strength and stamina. In other words, the Polites technique asserts that physical energy exerted from the center should coordinate movements of the extremities. Using correct posture while doing Polites exercises improves safety by correcting muscle imbalances and optimizing coordination. Precision is essential to correct Polites. The focus is on doing one precise and perfect movement, rather than many half-hearted ones. Here Polites reflects common physical culture wisdom, gaining more from a few energetic efforts than from many listless ones. 
The goal is for this precision to eventually become second nature and carry over into everyday life as grace and economy of movement. Correct muscle firing patterns and improved mental concentration are enhanced with relaxation. With increased precision, motion becomes more efficient so there is less stress to perform the exercises. In 2015 the Australian Government's Department of Health published a meta-study which reviewed the existing literature on 17 alternative therapies including polities, in order to determine if any were suitable for being covered by health insurance. The review found that due to the small number and methodologically limited nature of the existing studies, the effectiveness of polities is uncertain. For the treatment of lower back pain, low-quality evidence suggests that while Pilates is better than doing nothing, it is no more effective than other forms of physical exercise. There is some evidence regular sessions can help with the conditioning of the abdominal muscles of healthy people, when compared to doing no exercise. There is no good evidence it helps improve balance in elderly people. Pilates is an unregulated method of exercise. In October 2000 Pilates was ruled a generic term by a U.S. federal court, making it free for unrestricted use. As a result of the court ruling, the Pilates Method Alliance was formed as a professional association for the Pilates community. Its purpose was to provide an international organization to connect teachers, teacher trainers, studios, and facilities dedicated to preserving and enhancing the legacy of Joseph H. Pilates and his exercise method by establishing standards, encouraging unity, and promoting professionalism. Relaxation Stamina Effectiveness Legal status